Now, as many of you know, the Triumph Stag brand is still, to this day, under the ownership of a well-known motor manufacturer. And since they plan to launch a new for 2024 electric Stag version of the well-known and iconic 1970s classic, the motor company has asked for all existing Triumph Stag owners to be ready to remove their grille and wing badges and replace them with the ones featured below. Uh, the new stag mould, by the way, is still under wraps, but uh, we'll be able to give you some exclusive images next week on Ari the Stag. Now, due to international FOBS rules, uh, we must stress that no immediate action is required right now, as we're likely to hear in a week or so a specific date for when this has to happen. But for those who wanted to start thinking about the necessary changes ahead of that time, we thought we'd give you the early heads up. Herr Ernest Pranks, a senior spokesperson and CEO of the parent motor company, this week said... We are sincerely sorry to see this change after so many decades and law association with the 1970s Triumph Stag. But at the end of the day, we have to make way for some very exciting progress on the all-new electric F001 Triumph Stag, planned for immediate release and launch on the first day of Q2 next year. While the company remains comfortable with the classic car owners still using the word mark Stag, really as a concession and goodwill gesture to the existing global fan base of the original classic, the Leaping Stag emblem is the brand we are recalling and will be using in the new F001 car. Well, of course, I'm really saddened to hear about all this, guys, and um, I'm actually thinking of starting a petition, so please do email us your thoughts and we'll pass them on to the powers that be. Either way, of course, we'll bring you the latest news on this developing story next week. Meanwhile, enjoy your cars, have a great week, and see you online on Ari the Stag very soon. <laughs>